What's going on, everybody? Survival Islanders back in with another video. Don't forget to join our uh, Discord and join our Roblox group. Join the Discord to ask questions about our games and everything. Give suggestions and talk about things. Uh, join our Roblox group to play some of our games and get bonuses and everything. And also post about bug link stuff and everything. Uh, this video today is about uh, how to script a GUI to be activated through keybinds. Keybinds such as hitting like E, R, F, D, all that stuff. Or then or you could just um use xbox controls so we'll have this xbox compatible as well so i'm going to start by inserting a screen gui and then in that i'm going to do a frame then i'm also going to add a text button so starting with the frame just mess around with that a little bit transparency to see my uh, transparency will be 0.5 i'm gonna change the color a little bit Change its size. You're going to have to bear with me. My finger's kind of busted right now. Have it in a splint and everything. Okay, and I need to change position. Then I'm going to make visible off. Then mess with the text button. Full transparency. Mess with the font. Text color. Size. So I'm going to open this with M, so I'm going to say M. Okay, and then I'm going to lower it. Okay, so then within the text button, I'm going to insert a local script. And we're going to do our variables, so start with the frame script dot parent dot frame hotkeys is what we're going to do next I'm going to call my there so these are going to be the keys that you're going to want to select whether you want to select a certain uh, keyboard key or Xbox key so So this is going to be a num dot key code dot m. I'm going to call mine this, like I said, I'm going to select m and then do the whole thing over again, but I'm going to call it number two. And I'm going to change this to button x. So my Xbox button will be button x. Then user input service. I'm going to call mine UIS, abbreviated. And that's going to be equal to game get service. Yeah, quotations. And then you're going to call it, it's going to be the user input service. And then we're going to have, so this will be the, uh, a variable for determining whether it's gonna you know when you click on when you hit the the key to open up the menu GUI whether it's gonna open or not so this will be how the feature opens so I'm just gonna have that equal to false right off the bat okay so starting with the function UIS dot input began and then connect parentheses function parentheses again remove an extra one and then key comma GP so this is meaning that key or game pass uh, not game pass yeah game pad
So starting with the function is going to be uis dot input began connect parentheses and then one extra one. So right here and then variables of key and GP. So this means game pass and keys. I, it's not, not game pass. This means keys and gamepad. So then if key is if key dot key code hard to type key dot key code is equal to I mean is equal yeah equal to hotkey or equal to hotkey two, then if open is equal to false, then open will equal true. This means that if we hit the button, now it's going to activate. Now it's going to be if the open was originally false, so meaning now since frame is equal is visible is not visible, then now it's going to be it's going to be visible. I had missed a line. Forgot to actually add something else. So if uis get focused text box is equal to nil. Then, okay, so sorry I had skipped a line. So frame dot visible will now equal open. Else if open is equal to true, then open will equal false. Now if that happens, we want frame dot visible to equal open again. So now it, yeah, it's frame dot visible equal uh, open, which open is now false. Okay, so we have everything that we need. Now it should run. So if I go ahead and try to activate it now. Hitting M. Let me go ahead and switch to a controller. Okay, so hitting X or M. There. So doing any of those will now activate it. And it will be the same thing for other buttons within it. Do the same exact thing for other buttons within. Anyway, that is all for this video. Uh, if you've got any other questions or suggestions, please post down in the comments below. We are doing requests of things that we can handle. So uh, give us a like and a sub, and we'll see you all again in our next post of videos.